Hey Stampers, Eva again. Um, every Monday I put a sketch up on the Stamp With Joy page. And already we've had... Um, oh, is it 12 entries this morning already? And I only put it up about 10 o'clock. So I've done myself a version, which I think is so super cute. I know it's retiring, but uh, I've done one in each colour different colours. I've used not just stamping up pens and blends. I've used felt pens. I've used my, uh, oh, what are they called? Sharpays as well. Each one is different. So I've, it says there, you are one of a kind. Gorgeous little cute. And this is the sketch. It's a panel with three circles and a banner. And I had a little strip of paper left over, so I put it down the side. So I'm going to do the same on the other card as well. It's not quite long enough to go across the bottom or the top. Or I could do it, actually, and leave just a little gap either side. Might do that, actually. I haven't popped a sentiment yet, but uh, I think this says it all. You are one of a kind, and you could pick any one of those. So, papers I'm using. And I have gone ahead and cut a few shapes out, but I am going to be cut die-cutting these out. The seahorse. I'm colouring them with you. I'm using this beautiful, I'm using obviously the Magical Day stamp set and the designer series paper, which is going in June. Well, they're all going in June except for the wood textures, which is a shame because some of the papers are outstanding. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I always cut one down by six by six, so I get four pieces, just so you can see the opposites of this wonderful paper. You've got the beautiful mermaids in the green. And then you've got these with the knights and the dragons and the castle. Oops, little porker. Uh, the trees, absolutely beautiful with the wizards on. There's more as well, but I've used those. Which is this bubble. I love this bubble one. Absolutely beautiful. And it's glittered. Lovely flowers on the other side. I absolutely adore these papers. And I can't believe they're just going to vanish. As quick as they arrive, they're vanishing. So anything now smaller than a three by whatever, I throw away. Because I used to stack and keep them all for little cards and stuff. But I don't see the point now when everything is going and I want to buy all the new. So I'm going to be left with loads and loads of designer series paper. So what I did with these, this is our Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper. And it, it, it's a little bit of a... So and so to glue on there. It takes ages and ages and ages to dry. So what I'm going to do quickly now. Let me turn them over so they're not glaring at you. And I'm going to get some tear and tape. Because it is a swine. To try and glue. It glues down perfect. But if you're willing to leave it sit for three hours while it dries. Then <laughs> and the card's probably still not dry now. But. Then I had a fight with my Rich Razzleberry. The lid came off. I was absolutely covered in it. But I bleached to my hands, believe it or not, and I'm still covered. I know you shouldn't bleach your hands, but uh, I didn't want to sit here. I was absolutely covered everywhere. I had it all down here, all of my fingers. I think this was the strongest bit because I'm right-handed. It was terrible. So I'm going to add tear and tape on the back of here as well. Which is just as good. I just think you need something a little bit more grippy than the glue. And then wait for it to dry. Just to add to your project. So I love tear and tape as well. I'm running out of fast view slowly. So that will be using that on my... Oh, what's it called now? Envelopes for the competition. So these are roughly the same size. One is two and the other one is one and seven eighths because I want to lay them I did leave them a little bit wide and cut them separately and had a massive border on that one and it wasn't the effect I was after so I used this size four from the little one out of the scalloped layering circles and this is the one and three quarter off the punch just enough to give it that border all the way round so I'm going to pop these in as far as they'll go and making sure 
try and keep that in the centre. So my banner, I could actually put the two in together where I want it. But trying to keep it straight. But then you've got to press really hard. See, it's not lined up properly. I want to try and keep the same distance. And then that way, when we pull this back, it should be perfect. We're going to glue that. We're going to trim the back. You don't have you even have to trim it because this is getting tucked behind here. So there's your two little pieces. You can discard those now if you want to. So I'm going to add my tear and tape on here as well. Because there's texture on the back of this designer series paper, when the glue goes on there, then it seems to smear. Love this stuff. Thank you, Caroline. You're a lifesaver for sending me this, my darling. Another tip then, just squash. That way when you come to peel your backings off, you won't have little bits sticking up because it'll be glued well and truly to the back of your card. And it air bubbles. See, when you go to pick the end, if it's not glued down, you'll pull the tape off as well. That's why I always, always, always crush it down with the bone folder. See, it comes straight off. If I hadn't done that with the bone folder first, I'd have probably peeled back some of the tape as well. So, lining this up. Best we can. There we go. And if you want to trim it, it's entirely up to you. But no one's going to see the back of it. Like I'm saying, it gives you peace of mind. <laughs> I am going to glue my card down. We've had some wonderful entries. They've been fabulous. And I, like I said, 10 o'clock this morning. Um, you'll be seeing this on... <laughs> I'll, I'll put it up today. I'll put it up today. Um, making sure now your card has got its opening at the bottom. I want to keep this relatively close to the bottom. So they just three inches they were. Three inches by two and three inches by one and seven eighths. So I know they fit. This is two and a half by five and seven eighths because I want that little border all the way around. I just thought I'd show you how I did my version. And not only that, they're going in the, uh, the box for cancer research anyway. Uh, oh, next challenge will be for type, uh, diabetes. My late, um, my late husband, my husband lost his daughter six years ago to a very rare type of diabetes. And it is, it's just killing him, bless his soul. It is that, it's broke and I've actually knackered this up now because one of the prangs has come off. Look, it's, it's just, bleh. I just couldn't, I'm going to, I'm going to fight with it again now. I have to do it later. It's just, it, I'm so heavy handed. And yet, I'm, I'm almost weak as a kitten normally. So I'm making sure that's inked up perfectly. There's your one of a kind. I'm going to set this to one side because I just don't want to end up covered in ink again. So we're getting there, girls. We're getting there. And I used just the new mint macaron only because it was to hand and it reminded me of like sea bubbles and that's all i'm doing is i'm just dabbing those beautiful little sea bubbles just around the fa uh, the uh, the sentiment our new cad is brilliant there's no woofing in well there is but they still, they just slide like this. 
and click into place. I'm loving the fact that you've got a strip now. So, I mean, most of the ink pads, when they're open, all look the same anyway. But I've popped one there. I've popped one there, even though it's foreign. And I've put one in there. But So all, all round now, I know that this is mint macaron. Front, sides and inside. So there's my tip. Right, let's get some of these I did down because we are going to be using the shapes. So making sure you line this up. See now I glued them and this was moving all over the show. And it's not moving now. It's not I've been here most of the afternoon thinking of this card. You know when you start a project, then you got to think about it, what you're going to do, is you find it, get all your equipment and cut all your pieces out. Half the day's gone. But then when you do a video, 20 minutes, half hour, it's done. Why can't they be that quick when I'm trying to think of what to do? <laughs> Just not my luck. There we go. So they're very secure now. What it is, I'm going to have to be really careful when I adhere down these beautiful little mermaids once we've cut and coloured them out. I'm not going to glue them down just yet. I'm going to pop them to one side. Fetch in my scrap piece of paper. And I just tested that to make sure my stamp was on straight. Using my black memento ink as recommended for blends. And I'm going to stamp three of these beautiful, lovely little mermaids out. Again, okay, uncross your legs. <laughs> and this beautiful little seahorse. Now we can get to do some colouring. Love this bit. So between these three gorgeous girls, I'm going to choose different colours as well. I'm going to be using, that's the punch I use, the one and three, one and three quarters. Sorry about all the stretching. I only stand these up to colour with them. And this is one of the new in colours and it's Pineapple punch, and this is the dark one. I am gonna color her hair in this. I want one blonde, one brunette, and one red headed. I love working with the blends, they're so nice. And if you're seeking a demonstrator, please, please track down Danielle Rose or Georgie Burns, two of my favourite ladies on the planet, for demonstrating. Georgie's going to, I sent her an arm so she's going to start recording. So as soon as she gets that up and running, she is after customers and so is my lovely Danielle. Me, I'm going back to being a hobby demonstrator. Well, I was always a hobby demonstrator. I just didn't want... I just joined for the discount. I did not want for... I don't want... I know it sounds awful, but I don't want customers. I, uh, I have so much other things on my plate. With the challenges and doing the cards and videos. I haven't got time to do all that. I haven't, and as much as I love each and every one of you ladies that have been on that path with me, um, oops, I've just gone over. I do love you all so much, but I want to dedicate my time to just buying what I want, doing what I want, and sharing it with all of you.
if you live in Essex, that way, seek out Georgie Burns, beautiful lady, makes some amazing, amazing projects, and she'll treat you gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, that's all I can say, and if you live in Yorkshire way, and you want somebody close to you, a beautiful Danielle Rose, I think if she gets people near enough to her, you would probably start doing coffee in a card at her place and stuff like that. I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm just guessing. <laughs> or I'm putting ideas into her head, bless her. So there's my little orange one. I'm going to add some highlights. But the highlights aren't coming from the blends. I've had these felt pens for two and a half years now. And they're amazing. And they are by Stedler. Triple colour. They're the thinnest pens in the world, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous colours. So I'm just going to highlight her scales on her. Why do you make these little mermaids look so chunky? <laughs> they probably just had a load of fish. Mind you, they are for kids. So I'm just highlighting her scales and... Adding some colour to her tail. Perfect. She's just the cutest. And then we've got the ivory, which is one of the blends for this perfect skin tone. This is the longest bit. It's just cute as a button. I'm going to leave that out because we're going to be using that on the other two as well. But now we want some highlights for her hair. And I think I'm going to go with a little bit of orange to complement her scales. And this is really bright. I just want to add a few highlights. A bit splashed on the kills. Just some highlights on the hair. And you could even, if you wanted to, let that dry for two seconds. Well, it would probably dry now, but that's, is that my gold? That's my clear. And then you can just, I never added it to others, but, oh, I should have. I will go over it, actually, just to highlight the hair, because it'll glisten in the water, because they are mermaids. And the scales, absolutely beautiful. So she can dry for a moment while I crack on with the little seahorse. Oh, and I'm going to use, look at this, I'm going to use purple for these gorgeous, gorgeous little wings. I'm adding dots down the back because they're too small. Let me to see. This little crest down there. It's just the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your whole life. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to do him green this time. With the purple. And there's such vibrant colours. These pens, uh, these felts. Like I'm saying, over two and a half years I've had these pens. I think they cost me about £25. I do have some others somewhere in a bag. But, oops, I just, he's being cut out anyway, so. Absolutely stunning. Now look at my Sharpays. These are alcohol-based, believe it or not. And I'm just going to add a dot to them bubbles. Look, gorgeous colours. In fact, I might use... I'm going to add some Wink of Stella to him later. Beautiful, beautiful colours. But use what you've got. 
you can use chalks, pastels, your watercolour pencils, blends, aquas, painter, stamping blends, your blend pen, you can use anything. If you've got felt pens, use them. You obviously bought them for a reason, so... And that's another thing. I just want to concentrate on buying other products. Not because I don't love stamping up. I absolutely adore stamping up. I love all their range. I'm a bit peeved, a little bit. They retired like 103 of my sets. But they're not going anywhere. You know when you get that mid-season through the catalogue and everyone's seen all the specials and they're sick of looking at the catalogue and they want something different or they want to go back on some old sets because they really, truly love them. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be mixing old with new. If you've bought it, use it. That's what I say. So I'm going to take that. I've got a really deep purple pen here. And she's going to have these as her highlights. The other one was like a shocking pink. This one's like a deeper. And just emphasising the scales. So, just going to add some lines down there. And if I'm not mistaken, Another one that lifts colour. Just blend those two together. And add some. It's taking away the sharper because that is a alcohol marker. And now we want a little. Uh... Oh, where's my black? I guess she's going to have black hair. I'm going to add dark bits and light bits. I'm obviously going to go around the outside. And I'm going to do a few lines. Now I'm going to grab, you can use your markers for these as well, because we've got every single colour in the markers. Now I'm going to add the dark of the blends. It's dark enough to be a, like a black colour. But to also add those highlights that you want. And you can wait for it to dry and go over it again. I oh, love it. Love it. And now we're back to our skin tone. And again, if you want a really pale mermaid skin, just do it once. Because she's got blonde hair, I'm leaving her with a really pale tone. This one, I'm going over twice, maybe three times. Give her an even better tan. See the difference between one coat and two? Let's see the difference after three. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, dot on some Winker Stella. This is so therapeutic for me. Love it. On her scales. My stomach's rumbling like mad. I've just had about 16 cups of coffee, that's why. So she can go to one side. Well, she can stay there to dry. Whilst we get on with the last but no means least 
Um, she's going to have brown hair, this one. She's going to be absolutely out as well. I've got this beautiful caramel colour. I'm not sure if it's too dark. No, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's like an orangey brown. I love my felt pens. I've had the, oh, I won't get rid of these. And these I won't even let nobody else touch these. They're mine. And if you notice the box, it's the same as my blends. I made two. And I fit two, four, six, eight, nine, twenty-seven Sharpies and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twenty-eight Sharpies and eleven felt pens in that one little tub. And they were made out of the acetate boxes. What a gorgeous colour this is. She reminds me of a really deep red auburn colour. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Right, let's see what colour we can do her. We've got blue, we've got orange. Let's try a little bit of rich Ravelberry. And we'll also go for some blue. We've oh, got blue mine. Hmm. Think of another colour gainer. A bit green even. If you can hear that, it's next doors. They are so noisy my neighbours are. Mind you, done out the walls in here are so thin. Gorgeous. I'm going to add her skin tone while we're here. She had three. This one's having two. And a little blonde one. She's just had one. Perfect. It's my skin tones. Right, let's add some of this beautiful old olive in the dark. To complement. Bit magical, aren't they? Mermaids. On this one. I think that's perfect. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to grab the paler. No, I'm not. I'm going to add the paler of the pool party and just bring those colours together. Like, uh... Oh, that's beautiful. It's giving it a blue tinge as well. So, I recommend these two are going on the outsides of the card. This beautiful lady here is going on the inside. Let me pop my blends down so they're lying flat. Put my pens away. Okay, grab my Winker Stella. Sorry, it's not me coughing, it's the boy next door. If you can hear him, that is. Let's flick off the colour. Just gorgeous. I love Winker Stella. Especially on these little underwater cards. Look how cute this little guy is. There we have it. So now I'm going to get some... Whoops, oh, look at that. I just bent my pen. Oh, <laughs> I'm terrible. So I've got the dies. Absolutely perfect. And, believe it or not, 
my little spellbinder is coming into use. Look at this. No pain picking it up. And it works a treat bleeding that. It works a treat. It's no magnetic plates or nothing. But I just take it to the end. Pop it in. I haven't pinned him down, nothing. There you go, that's this tough bit. A little bit squeaky. But look, he's always stayed into shape. Look how cute he is. Oh, his bubbles. I coloured his bubbles. They didn't even come out. <laughs> Never mind. You live and learn. So, now I'm going to pop this beautiful little mermaid into position. Squeeze those together. You can feel the resistance. Once that happens, I just come back then. Oh, she moved. No way she did as well. Oh, my word. I'm going to have to pause. <laughs> she never did that on the last one, I promise you. <laughs> oh, poo. Let me do with these. Let me just get that piece out. Honestly. I cut all three out and the little uh, seahorse never moved once. Fingers crossed it won't do it. I'm going to grab some washi tape. I don't know. What I'll do is I'll pause and I'll come back. Just grabbing a little bit of washi tape. I can find the ends. There it is. I'm just going to seal her into position. I honestly did not have any movement before. I should have had one prepared, shouldn't I? Look, see, she hasn't moved this time. Perfect. This is a lifesaver for me for the little things like this. Obviously, I need a bigger one for the big shot for other things. But for this, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We can turn her around now. I will finish my card off with you and then I'll go at the end and cut myself another one out. Because we won't have time otherwise. I bought this second hand, obviously, for £10. Absolute bargain. So I'll keep that on me for later when I'm cutting the last one out. I'll just show you what I did with my card now, and obviously I'm going to have another one in the centre once I cut her out. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh well, we all make boob boobs, don't we? <laughs> At least I leave mine in. <laughs> I will get to that as soon as we've finished filming. So, so in with my card. What a shame. <laughs> Never mind. I am just going to pop these now. Oh, bless her. I can't even carry on colouring because it looks right out of place. So what I did with my little fella here, grabbed myself a mini dimensional. They fit perfectly. 
right there. It's so green and colourful. And this time I'm going to have him next to. I don't want him disappearing in the green there. So we have our two outer ones. I might, I'm just going to leave that one blank for a moment, obviously, because I don't have her. And I'm going to add glue. I'm adding a fair bit because she will take a little bit to dry. What will look absolutely ace on here. Another perfect size for the, the circle. I'm going to add a little bit of weight on there whilst I glue this one down. How silly of me. Why don't I just use a bit of washi tape in the beginning? So again, I'm just going to turn this over and keep my hand flat. Have a look, see what the time is. <sighs> 36 minutes. Yeah, I'll do the other one off camera, but I will uh, post a picture with the video so you can see it. Oh, bless. Aren't they absolutely adorable? They do take a little bit of time to meld on there, but she's done now. So these are going on the outsides. You could always pop these on dimensionals. Depends how big and bulky you wanted your card, whether you were posting it or giving it away. Just so adorable. Add a little splash more with the Stella, I will. So I'm just coming over this edge. Because I know that's how much space I need. Roughly keeping them in the same place. Absolutely perfect. And I will add this now, but I will add my little mermaid later. Oops. And this just fits here perfectly. And she will be on there, trust me. <laughs> With a full uh, face and everything, <laughs> oh bless. So, that's my card. Mm, but, like I say, and she's not going on there. We're going to have a proper one on there. This is the one I did earlier. And I added him, because she was yellow and purple. He's green and purple, so we put him to the side. I will go and cut another one out. And I'm going to now just adhere this down. Because there's a border on the front, I don't mind leaving a border on the inside of this one. So I'm not squeezing this glue, I'm just smushing it. So I'm just giving it a little border. Just to break up the inside. Oh, what a shame, bless. Yeah, she will be on there. But she will have a face in the right place and <laughs> everything else. So I just will remove her. So I'm going to grab myself a scrap. My ink. And I'm going to get to colour her in again now. I tell you what I will do. I'll cut her out. And then I will paint her. Add in my little piece of washi tape to keep it in place. Oh. 
your paper is literally only got to be this wide there. Come on, take. <laughs> That's it. I think it's two and a quarter inches, if that. But it's ideal for sentiments and little projects like this. I think the plates are, oh, two and a half. Two and a half inches. So there she, I'm going to colour it in, or oh, we could even leave her blank because she's one of a kind. So it's entirely up to you how you make your card from now on. But that's me done. I would love a thumbs up and a share. I will finish her off and I will colour her in. She's absolutely beautiful and I love this card. So thanks for watching. I will uh, see you all soon. Oh, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you press that button. And don't forget the little bell straight after. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. But until next time, love you all. Bye.